for both teams. It looked like this for the Bruins, Campbell, Clark, Bailey, Haquez, and Bona. Wheeler, Wallace, Reeves, Toppin, Sheebway for Kentucky. And Nick Cronin in his fourth season as the head coach at UCLA, his 20th year overall. And when he came to UCLA, Nick said, I got to make these guys tougher. And we saw it two years ago start. Then we saw it more last year. We're seeing it again this season as they come in 9-2. And, and they've had quite a trip this week. More on that. Here's Jenny Dell. Yeah, we know that flying across country can always be challenging. So when the CBS Sports Classic was put onto the schedule, Coach Cronin wanted to find another East Coast game just to help with the travel a little bit. Initially, they had Villanova on the schedule, but that fell through the cracks. So Coach gave a little call to his good friend Kevin Willard. their first win against a ranked opponent in the terms of guys and it's been an east coast experience coach told me that on thursday the bruins took an amtrak train from dc to new york city it was the first time a lot of esquires have ever been on a train i asked about how the players have really managed the time change and he said a lot of the guys are night owls so lights out has been a little bit of a challenge but they are more than excited to play under the brightest lights well, they played lights out on Wednesday, 87 to 60 over Maryland. A little taste of what they're going to face in the Big Ten, and boy, they put it on them. Boy, they sure is as good as I've seen them play. Now you mentioned that Nick is tough. He doesn't shoot nails. Close to it though. <laughs> and he has made this UCLA team a tough-minded club. It's permeated the whole team. Uh, they, they are used to him. Uh, they, they know he is a demanding guy, and every day at practice, you better shape up. And of course, on the other side, the keeper, as you mentioned, the Hall of Famer, the guy that's won at a lot of places, former NBA coach as well, and of course, Memphis, UMass, Memphis, and uh, Kentucky, every year bringing in some great players. UCLA had lost three of their last five against ranks opponents until they put it on Maryland on Wednesday. Kentucky. Lost their only previous game against a ranked opponent. That was Gonzaga in November. They were ranked number two at the time. Gonzaga a winner on our first game of our triple header today over Alabama and Birmingham. Randy McCall, Brian Dorsey, and Burt Smith has the ball in hand. Our three officials were underway. Game two. Hey, she made with this steal there on the tip, but right now, Brad Nestler. You see how goes a little minute. And it's Wheeler against Tiger Campbell. A lot of ball screens, a lot of single doubles, they call it floppy sets. Sheboy trying to get it to Wallace around his pick. And the freshman almost walked with it. And now there's six on the shot clock. Somebody's got to handle it. Nice and out. Great defense by UCLA on the opening possession for Kentucky and an up and under on the break. That's Clark's game, though. This kid is aggressive at the point of attack, jumps passing lanes, helps out. And knocked out of bounds. Stopped him with that dive to the rim, his elevation. Now, this is just one of those, we talked about toughness. That's what this team is about. Give it to you. Let's go the other way. Clark just ripped it out of there. Rip and run. And Bailey scored on the other end. Kelly Reeves to inbound, maybe. Got it into Sheboy. The big fella got it to Toppin, who mishandled it. Baseline threes off the mark. Hutchins ended up in Sheboy. He did a pretty good job sealing and checking out as well. Uh, Bona will normally be on him, I believe. So a fresh clock, and Reeves to inbound again. Clark, I should have another switch back. Bona. Wallace on a runner, got it, and he's found by Campbell. Well, he makes some amazing floaters. The normal one, the corkscrew ones, the hook ones, just amazing in that lane. And that's a pretty good strength here. Tiger takes away the one, and Tiger gets underneath him. Campbell. And with consensus, five-star player out of Dallas, steps to the free-throw line, averaging a little under 11 points a game. Hasn't been a great free throw shooter so far this year. Kept alive by Sheboy. His hook shot no good. 
And now ripped down by Bona. And jump ball possession arrow. It's going the other way. Uh, Got to be aggressive receive boy. What a great offensive rebounder. He is a, a feel, an idea, a nose is an expression coaches use for where the ball is coming on. Plus, that ticker of his, he plays every play hard. He talks about that too, about it. he can tell by the angle the ball's going up where he thinks it's going to end up. In that case, right back in the face of Hakez as he blocks the shot. And UCLA turns it over. Wheeler, one last fast break. Extra pass, Wallace for three. Got it. How about that kick out? Sabir set it up. The dribble drive, 51% from three. That's pretty good, huh? No doubt. That's his 17th three of the year. That's not Bonus game out there. He's a screener and a roller. Sets a screen for Campbell. Campbell's very good at using the screen and getting the guy on his hip. Nice to nice to overplay there by Sheboy. Plays both ends of the floor. He works so hard. We're watching practice, and I got he's the defending national player of the year, and he works harder than anybody else. Well, you get you get tired watching it, right? Yeah, exactly. He's just an aggressive performer. I have not met him personally, but all the interviews, he's a charming young guy. Yeah, he is. Great presence. Campbell have a little trouble getting it in. Finally did to Bailey. Bailey short on the three. And put back up there to get it up in time. I guess so. Jalen Clark. Clark. Right the spot. Nice cover by Bailey on Sheepway. They get it in. Sheepway on a runner in the paint. And we got an injury here. Tiger Campbell. And it was, was Clark. Clark that yeah. went down hard. I'm sure inadvertent as they pursued the orange shot. Here's another look. Clark gonna take. Yeah, get the hand. Yeah. So often that happens. A swimming motion. And he's up. His coach out there to have a look. He got hit the other night, too, as I recall, in Maryland. Got to tell Mick, I'm not going under the rim anymore. <laughs> and look what they bring in, Singleton, the, one of the great three-point shooters in college basketball. Amazing catch and shoot. You got to get on them. They're just checking to make sure it's just a basketball play. And there you're going to see just the back of the left hand of Shibwe. That's an, that's enough to uh, put some tears in your eyes. Yeah, that's for sure. Or make your family cry, anyhow. <laughs> so UCLA ball and some full court pressure here already from Kentucky. Just be careful of Wally. He can't be loose with the ball. Wallace lines up with Singleton. He knows he's got to be right on him. Any touch, it may go up. Campbell got around Wheeler. Short on the shot. Oh, some toughness kick out. Singleton is the three that Singleton's talking about. Say good night. I mean, such a threat. And more importantly, on a kick out on a rebound. Nice block by Bona. Reeves. It rims out. Hakez with a rebound. Yeah, Hakez is going to have a little trouble on this end because of the size of Toppin. Now they switch. Hakez, UCLA's leading score at over 17 a game. He'll take one from about 17. It comes in and out. And Reeves with a rebound. Nice help. Oh, they got a foul? Bona or Hakez? It's going to be Bona. Nice help from the top by Hakez. And Nick's going to go to his bench right now with Nuba. Another 6'10 player coming in. Bona going out. Uh, talk about anything on that offensive glass. That's a kick out. He gets them organized. This is the unerring deep shooter. Sheboy, baseline jumper. Got it. He's worked on that in the offseason. He sure has. Extended his game. He's still coming back from that injury, too. That's right. It's like he's been 
Each game seems to be getting a little bit better. And then early in the year, Wheeler was nicked too. So that's part of their dilemma. That's where he's tough. Gets him on the hip. Tiger Campbell just pushed that thing up from the free throw line. Hawkins keeps it alive. Second chance won't go. And in the battle for the rebound, jump ball. This time it's going Kentucky's way. The National Players of the Year that have come back, as Oscar has this year. Tyler Hansborough did it, North Carolina. Mark McGuire, DePaul. If you see Bill Walton and Ralph Sampson, you go, wait a minute, you got two different dates here. It's because they were two time players. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Of course, those, they've stayed four years in those days, right? But Oscar, there's basically only eight. I mean, there's all kinds of things. There's a wooden, there's the Atlanta tip off club, there's a USBA, there's the AP, there's, you know. There's the Nestle. Yeah. He won all eight of them. <laughs> Reeves. That's his game, too. Sheepway, he'll be over the top. Mick jumping up and down. Jim got, Mick got higher than his guys on that one. Well, we know this guy can rebound. Seems like he's been around six years. Not Mick. Mick. <laughs> I mean, well, Mick feels like it's 66 years he's been around. <laughs> Good long time with Bobby Huggins, of course, Coach Murray State, Cincinnati. And what a keeper on the West Coast now. But I mean, you're right, he has been around. And his effort. He's got top end, he's going to have to drive him, I think. Singleton has already got one three. Here's a baseline tough shot by Jalen Clark. Gets, gets a good defender, too. Wallace. Top here, Wheeler. Empty side, ball screen. Entry pass tough. off the mark. Tough angle. And going the other way, rejected by Sheboy. What effort. Out to Wheeler, three on two. Reeves. And offensive foul. It was a good look by Wheeler. Maybe he should have anticipated the potential of the charge, too. But Reeves has got this stop, jump stop. And this is just a tremendous effort. Boy, every time you watch him play, she play. Nothing's for free. Relentless. Oh, extraordinary. I think two of the biggest tickers in college basketball, Hakez and, and Sheepway, the way they you. play. Five minutes in, UCLA, two-point lead. Hakez on the drive to the baseline. And somehow found a crease under there. That's his footwork. It's impeccable. Great balance. Sets you up, feels your body. Sheboy gets the offensive rebound and the putback. Uh, he just bodies you, anticipates. Just a great offensive approach to rebounding. Right here, he knew where that ball was coming just as it was released from the hand. As Raph said, he missed the first couple of games, still rehabbing from the knee. Surgery in the offseason wears a sleeve on that knee now. I watched their games in the Bahamas and uh, trying to come into form. He was recouping at that point. Doing a lot of commercials, by the way, in the Bahamas. <laughs> That's right. When you're from another country and you're in another country, you can do some NIL stuff. Uh, name of the game, though, on both ends. They, both coaches sell that defense. Look at those hands in there, Wallace. Strength and position. Hakez in a lot of traffic. Got it out of there to Campbell. They're going to make you beat them off the dribble out here. Tiger Campbell, 10 on the shot clock. Wallace takes a run at him. Campbell's going to take the shot anyway and score it. He's got a nice floater game. Zimmerman's going to have to use the dribble, though. They were just hugging him. That entry pass was a better one. But she nice plays got people all over him. And Kentucky turns it over. Yeah, Campbell in the right spot. Made himself bigger. 
There was about four blue jerseys around Shibway when he lost that handle of the ball. Uh, it doesn't pay to advertise, huh? Mm -hmm. Singleton got another one just inside the three-point line. And off the bounce, too. Two of them. Five for Singleton off the bench. Livingston on the floor now for Cal. But they can guard you pretty well with their length on closeouts. And again, Kentucky. And they're going to say it's still Kentucky ball. And Singleton got his hands in there. But the ability to put it on the deck here, just a little bump. Nuba provides the lift. The rest, pure mechanics. Bona comes back in for the Bruins. Toppin goes out for Kentucky. And Frederick on the floor now. Big time threat from deep. Wheeler on a runner up the window. Got it. How about that? Got to have that in your game at that size. At 5'9", you better know how to do that, and he does it as well as anybody. And Bona got a piece of that, too, I think. They worked on closeouts, Kentucky, in practice. Clark, nice turn on the baseline. They took advantage of size, three or four inches. 17-11 UCLA. We approach 12 and a half minutes for the first half. Chibwe and Wheeler and Wheeler on a runner. About that going to his right. Just staining that deep shot. He'll place you once in a while, but that's not his favorite release. Two undersized point guards, and you know if those two guys are going to go at it all day long, and Tiger Campbell has an answer. Well, you heard Cal hollering the whip, and that's when you go under on that high ball screen, and they went over and paid for it that far from the floor. Nice hands, Hakos. And this time, possession arrow is going to go for UCLA. Right after Samir Wheeler. And Jackie Jackson, <laughs> and he jumped over him. And I'm at the table, and I said, that was me. That was me. That's what Toppin reminds me of. Jumping Jackie Jackson, you say, I have Converse, will jump. And Mona with a foul. And that's going to be two on him. Got to stand still and don't open quickly. Part of the learning process. This kid's going to be a really good player, too. Livingston on the floor, rebounder, has a floater game, can guard that size. Nice play, Hawkins. Gave a cushion. Too many lazy passes by Kentucky. Yeah. That's number six, I think, turnovers. Hawkins inside, worked his way all the way through that traffic. He just missed the shot, but he didn't the second time. The kid's amazing. He just pursues consistently. We talk about Sheeway's heart around the rim and effort. Uh, just it understands the game, pump fakes, comes up empty, but doesn't give up on the play. Quicker to the ball than others. And now a chance for a three-point play. He'll take it. Averaging 17 a game, which is sixth in the Pac-12 right now. That, that game you mentioned about Ed Merlin, that's as good as I've seen UCLA all year long. They did everything right. They only had four turnovers. They shot 56% from the floor as Wheeler on the drive scored again. And they got him to stand up a little. Hawkes on that switch, the blow by. This is where Tiger's tough, right there. Yep. He just turns the corner. Peek, stinks a peek. It's like he's got a mirror on his shoulder. See where the defender is. Like every time Wheeler hits a shot, Campbell comes down and hits one or vice versa. Top in. Got worked on that shot. It's still electrifying at the rim. Reeves, runner, won't go. Hawkins had his hand on the rebound and does handle it. Tiger knows how to pull it, doesn't he? Yeah. 
pace, tempo, great feel. Crossover, working against Wheeler, leaves it in the nice. How about that? that? Be a nice dish. Got a little lingerie on the deck in the garden. Nuba can be embarrassing. Yes, huh. scorebook. Double digit advantage. UCLA. So look at on Frederick. They're both similar in their approach. Good shooters from deep. Wheeler walks. And again, Campbell took away that dribble lane, created the problem. Tiger Campbell on the other end. The drive around Wheeler and then the little runner. Pretty impressive. Great floor leader. Doesn't turn it over. This pass right here. And then the great patience at the rim by the big fella. Bruins have taken the crowd. There's a lot of Kentucky fans in here out of this thing at the midway point of the first half. Nice curl. Once again, it was stacked look. Frederick trying to stay with Singleton. Got the shot off. Really wasn't a shot. It was sort of blocked by Shibway. He got it back somehow, and then he's tripped. By Wheeler, I think, in the corner. Hurt his foot, too. Gonna retie his shoe. Now, you gotta realize how you're gonna play all those curls. You're gonna tag him, you're gonna switch it, you're gonna go over the top. And it can be a dilemma. But a guy like Singleton who can make a three if he turns the corner. Now he's got a floater game. UCLA, eight of their last ten. And Kentucky, four of their last five. So the ball's dropping, but right now it's dropping better for UCLA than it is for Kentucky. And defensively, UCLA is being sound. Create a little chaos, turnovers. They'll bite you with a fast break, but they're basically one of those teams that can grind you, can play a couple of ways. And Kentucky's much better in an up tempo game. They haven't been able to get it going because they can't get stops. Not at all. The other team won't miss. It's hard to get any kind of transition going. Tiger and Mick are on the same page, though. Mick can just shower him with praise and then get all over him. It doesn't bother him at all. <laughs> Hakez against Shibway out to Campbell for three. And nice job by Wallace to track down the rebound. See if Kentucky can get a good look. And they can't even get Shibway established in there. Frederick around a screen. And Offensive foul. Yep. Wallace uh, on the head. Wallace on the uh, screen. Yeah, they're, hand, they're grabbing that. Tuesday on CBS, celebrate the season with the key, Queen of Christmas, singing all your favorite holiday songs, once in a lifetime concert event. Mariah Carey, Merry Christmas to all Tuesday on CBS. I mentioned earlier, Mariah was in here at Madison Square Garden in front of a big crowd last night for her Christmas concert. Did you bring a present for me to New York? Or <laughs> not. Just your presence. Yes, that was good enough. <laughs> There's that blur screen. Clubs left to run. Clark trying to feed it to Hawkins down low. Clever now. He's clever, oh, man. And, he, and he's got top of Lumen, big time above him. You can't play defense much better than that. Six for Hawkins. Nice help on the baseline by Clark. He's magnificent. Now they run, and Hawkins. They try the alley oop. That didn't work. They got a piece of it too. Wheeler brings it the other way. Oh, the slip. Trying to get it to Toppin, who basically saved it from going out of bounds, and then they get a three from Reed. That's what they need. Some daylight. Reeves some open opportunities. But UCLA, you hate to give up an, up an opportunity in the open floor like they did. Oh, nice spin. Sheboy got a little piece of that and picks up the loose ball. Does it all. And then runs the floor as hard as he can and now gets in the way of Wheeler, or four Wheeler, I should say. Knocked out of bounds. Still be Kentucky basketball after this break, though. 7.38 remaining first. Kind of revving the game up a little bit.
Let's check in with Jenny. Yeah, the focus inside the Kentucky huddle was early on offensive rebounds. They said they also wanted to increase communication on the high screen and roll. And as far as Antonio Reeves go, coach said just go out there and shoot the ball. Stop hesitating. Yeah, they're just not in the flow. Left and I were talking about that during the timeout. And they need a little confidence booster. It starts on this end, I think. See if they can get an easy one going, get a little flow. And look at a little hand check to a guy who's moving his business outside. Marquez usually gets a piece of that lane and dominates. Tappen picks up his first personal. Kentucky's got their starting five out there right now. And UCLA, with the exception of Nuba, as well. A lot of guys double that ball screen in that corner. Hakez leans in on Chibwe and then buries the jumper. How about that? That is balance. Big time knockdown. Put a shoulder into the big fella yeah. and then faded away and drill it. And they're going to have foul on Clark. And over the top. Look at this last shot. A shoulder shrug, huh? <laughs> he could have flopped on that yeah. if he got away with it. Well, he's too big and strong. He's like, I'm not going to back up. Probably should have. Nice denial again. Hakez plays both ends. Top of the too strong on the jumper. Hakez a rebound. I made. Had his man go down, so he just says, I'll, I'll take it myself. How about that? Rebound, bring it up. He was going to try to give it up to somebody else. So, well, I might as well take this shot. Because we're in New you're in New York. It's good to know how to take advantage of angles. <laughs> trying to get sheep way involved, but better D. Toppin has to give it up. Reeves on a runner on the baseline. Boogie play. Big offensive rebound for Oscar, and then he's fouled. From the top side, I think. Reach in. Bailey. He's on Nuba. Oh, they gave it to Nuba, huh? Yep. That's two on the two bigs. Wallace around a Shibwe pick. Can't get it to go. And look at the look who gets it again. Reeves, three. Kentucky can't find it right now from the field. Last touch, they say, by Shibwe. Shibwe could not get in there quick enough. I mean, a little quick shot. Let him get involved a little bit more. Arizona got two field goals, and one was from the outside. Andrews on the floor now. Gives Tiger a blow. Runs the show. Going to be a nice player. Lance Ware now trying to defend on Hakez. And that was just a loose ball. Hit somebody's hip. And came free. Wallace the no look over to Reeves. This time it still won't go. Look at the hustling belly to the ball. And Wallace likewise hustling to hit the deck. And it's going to be Kentucky ball. Well, they call the foul diving on top, I guess. Yep. I guess it's on Bailey. And he's joining the club, a little skirmish. And that's going to send Jason Wallace to the free throw line. Jason Wallace. One and one. He missed his first free throw. He came in only 57%. He's 8 out of 15 on the year. Knocks that one down. And he had a great second half against Michigan, this kid. Just a really solid player. They got to hang tough, get collected, stay in touch, get reorganized. And plenty of time to get to halftime. Another start on the defensive end as well. Well, if our first game is any indication, you can come back in the second half and make a game of it because North Carolina came from nine down and had 11 point deficit at one point in the second half and won over Ohio State in overtime as we missed our first game. They're playing it on the floor now, too. They, they really are high on him coming off knee injury, as you can see. 
with that brace on the floor to make some shots. Marquez with Lance Ware guarding him way out on top at the five minute mark. Nice jump. Reason good. Marquez on the drive. Shot clock expiring. Keyblade pulls it down and gets it ahead to Wheeler. Now look at you going a little bit if you're Kentucky. You've got to grow. A little another number three, I think. Anuba. Etienne coming in now. Mentioned the knee injury. He's got a problem as well coming off on his first year. Wearing a brace on it. And that's it for Nuba for the half for sure. So Oscar Shibway to the free throw line. Etienne, a local kid, New York City, Suffolk Academy. That first year out there had to sit out the whole year. And Kentucky leaving some at the free throw line. Now, where would give them a lot of effort? They'll challenge things and rebound. Even hot us a little blow to the media timeout. They really do a great job going side to side, then attacking. Here it goes. Campbell on the drive, down among the tall timber. Sheboy all over him, and the shot clock expires. Good defense by Oscar Sheboy and company. That's a couple in a row. Unusual lineup right now for UCLA. Kentucky can take advantage, I think. A lot of guys haven't played together. They'll bring Singleton back in. The next stoppage in play for Bruins. Show and go under. Shibway misses the jumper. Cleared out by Etienne. Well, that, that's where he is tough, using that early screen. How about that? Come up empty. Wallace. Boy, they can't find it from three point land right now. But they get a second chance. So it's Taylor. Had it hit his foot. Saved it, though. Reeves. Why not attack? Just a couple in a row. Reeves has hit one, but he's missed several. Kentucky two out of eight. Go outside the arc. Yeah, keep stringing the defense, though. Only 11 down. There's a little high-low game. A nice catch and a nice feed inside. And an easy score for Clark, who's got eight. And that size gives him vision. That's it. Clark and Hawkeyes have 18 of UCLA's 33. Sheboy. No, got but, around the defender with a left hand. Pretty good, huh? Absolutely. Yeah, at the end, thinking, well, I can't catch him. I might as well shoot. Cap off the three-point play. And still having trouble from the strike tonight. Clark, even with that rebound, this kid's a terrific athlete. Rebound by Ware. Yeah. He works. Wheeler puts the brakes on, gets it out to Livingston. Oh, Wheeler wanted to leave it to Sheboy and threw it away. Yeah, that's kind of a little two man play. That's 11 Kentucky turnovers this half. Well, they're fortunate they're hanging around here. Down by 11 with 11 turnovers. That's why you're down 11. Got to come back to Hawkins if they don't get anything here. Ooh. Daly oh. slipped and walks. And the defense again. And Wallace stubbed his toe a little bit, but just took away that dribble drive lane and really good footwork. Put the brakes on, but skidded. And yeah, so back-to-back turnovers on each end. We're coming down to... 
Two-minute mark of the first half. Yeah, Kentucky's got to look to close this out with a little more confidence on this end of the floor. Shibway spins inside and a tough grab. Nice play, Etienne. It stays the same way. Right? It's Kentucky ball. Yeah. But Etienne muscled in there with a the big fella. Marquez was ready to go in if it was on offense. Wallace will inbound into where Wallace is open and now he's going to take it inside on the baseline did he get the roll he didn't she boy got the rebound missed on the putback but it's covered up by where uh, taking advantage of size two bigs on the floor and for John Wildcats get it back to single digits heck in that room that's their game and timeout UCLA did Hawkins back in Lead the big guy at the offensive end. Minute and a half to. Hakez <laughs> <laughs> driving on where the kick out. Three pointer won't go. Rebound. Livingston. They got the stop. Now let's see if they can convert on the other end. He zoned up a little bit in the back. They got one. A little two three zone. A little switch. Single to, uh, Livingston rather has a look and buries it. How about that? Nice addition. Fifth one of the year. Well, that's exactly what the doctor ordered yeah. from Kentucky. Get a little emotion going. Hawkins really had the mismatch he wanted with Wheeler. Nice help by Sheepway. Eight to shoot. Hawkins will take it. Missed a three. Rebound Kentucky. With a half minute to go. Only about a two second difference. Shot clock and game clock. Once again, that two three zone offensive rebounding. Nice fill. Ooh. Where we love a guard in there. Wheeler tried a one-handed pass again, and it got run, run into uh, some traffic and rude, and they turn it over. That's not what they were looking for. Yeah, he, I think he felt he had Seaboy here, and a pretty good late denial by Clark caused the error. It's almost a kicked ball by Campbell, but he got his hand on it instead, I guess. So the final possession is UCLA's. Campbell penetrates. Steps. Oh, he oh, got a foul. And, uh, before the shot. Wow. It's on Wheeler. Not over the limit yet. We're going to get back in with Bono maybe for an offensive rebound. Take the gamble. Well, Wheeler got him on the left shoulder, I guess, with the left hand. Right there. As Raph said, only the sixth Kentucky team foul, so five seconds till halftime. I'm going to get you a whistle. You were on the top of that. It's just the replays that help. The lob. Missed. They had him. And the clock didn't start right away. Look who's there, Hawkins. Hawkins, of course. Why not? That's his game. You get an assist to Clark on that one. Boy, the star of the game is right in front of us. To start the second half with the inbounds pass from Jaime Hakez. And you can see that in a lot of games. Yeah. Ooh, I'll back to over and back. Yeah, and it was. Well, it's so easy to just throw it back. There's the extra bobble in the step. But and he did have control before he went over. Waste nope. the trip. Almost a free possession here for Kentucky. They can take advantage. Lance Ware, who ended the half on the floor, is still on the floor for Kentucky. And I think he deserves the minutes. That's why he's out there. Gave him some effort. Good screener. 
uh, they're in trouble here. Sheboy picked up his dribble. Nice Did find a man on the drive in Livingston, and he drew a foul. Hawkins just a little bit late. Hopefully he's okay. But a nice cut, too. Well, they were in deep trouble here. They did a little bailout on that call. So Chris Livingston going to the free throw line. The freshman out of Akron, Ohio. Gatorade player of the year last year at Oak Hill. How about in two states, by the way? Yeah. Red, right? Player of the year in different states. One is a junior, one is a senior. Yeah. He's got a lot of beverage to consume. <laughs> and he is 13 out of 14 of the year from the free throw line. So that's a good start right there. A turnover by UCLA and a basket by Kentucky to get it to a half dozen. Okay, I must have seen something in Livingston and Ware. They start on this second half, shake the team up a little bit. Daly pull up jumper. Short. And Chibwe takes the ball and is trying to be saved by Bona. Kentucky pushing it. Chibwe outside jumper. Tip by Ware. And it comes free to Amari Bailey. But Mick just has to look at Tiger. They know what they want. And it didn't force the issue. Ends up with a good <laughs> shot. And no rush. No panic. He's got a variety of shots. They're asking him to be a little more offensive this year. Average just under 12 last year, just under 13 this year. So there's not a lot of difference. It just seems that way. Tiger Wheeler, three. Got it. Big shot. By Wheeler. That nice kick out, too. Once again, Ware giving them many, many minutes. And all of a sudden, there's a little stir at Madison Square Garden from the Kentucky fans who haven't had much to cheer about. Hakez, double team, trying to get around Sheebway. Ware goes to the deck. The force to jump ball and Kentucky basketball. Good hustle by number 55. Yeah, excellent defense, too, to bottle them up. Marcus thought he had the jumper, uh, but this is just good basketball. Where turn, pivot, drill by that little southpaw. And just at this end, just solid help. Again, where in the middle of the mix with his hand. That's why he's out on the floor, giving him a lot of effort. Two six nine guys with those long arms, and Marquez had nowhere to go. Now the chance would go big blue. For Kentucky. Uh, now we're in Lexington North. <laughs> nice help by Nuba. Wallace, long step. Didn't get the shot. Hakez a rebound. Bailey pull up from 15. Yeah, they, they, he's got to start making those shots. He's had a couple of really good looks. He's a talented kid. Campbell, the kick out. They move it around the perimeter to Clark. A runner on the baseline. He's fouled by Livingston. A yeah, nice ball moving too. Set it up to that open side. Clark taking advantage. Nothing smooth right now, is it? No. Herky jerky. Jalen Clark, his first trip to the free throw line tonight. He does things effortlessly. He runs the floor. Pretty good off the bounce. Talk about his D in the first half. 6'5 junior out of Riverside, California. Second of two. Got it. Nine for Jalen. Six points, UCLA lead. Really no key guy to go to in this set here with Kentucky other than Sheboy loading up in the box. And to kick it out to Livingston. He can drive it. Maybe he got away with a little shoulder there, but he knocks it down. I sort of like to not fall down. Some of the Wildcat fans. Now to four. They do travel. And they're standing right now for their defense. Oh, 
always gets back to Campbell to make the decision. His decision to shoot his own, and he got his own rebound. Nope, he had it and lost it. I think he came in from out of bounds. Talking about the different lineup, and uh, Livingston inserted too because Cal must have liked what he saw. A little discard, a little knockdown. Where and Livingston have given the Wildcats a spark here in the second half. Wheeler, the crossover was pretty strong. Livingston in the paint, and a runner, got it. Oh, what have you done? Livingston, huh? Showing he deserves and wants some time. Lead down to two. And a push, not much of one by Casey Wallace. They got the hands in, they're cleaning that up. Very tough, the quickness of players to put those hands in there. Yeah. Coach, you told me to hug him. <laughs> he can shoot it. Pull up from the free throw line. Good shot, though. boy strong rebound. Nice curl, nice five. Sheboy, double-digit rebounds with a long ways to go in this one. Away and then she away with a bump on Hakez. Almost an effort, effort foul. But with 15.39 to go. With the mill in terms of games, great communications with one another, and their communicators with their teammates. So it's Singleton and Clark and Hakez and Campbell. Run a little back screen to get Hakez in where he loves. And with a hook shot is short, and the rebound is where again. Great presence, Sheen White. A chance to tie or lead for Kentucky. And blocking foul on Bona. That's his third. And they didn't have to. They just slide and let your teammate recover. And they're just a yo-yo on the two bigs for that reason. Those foul problems. They're bringing Nuba. He's got three also. So exchange one guy with three fouls for another. They do an interesting thing. They put the big guy on the inbounder, then they switch back to the proper matchup just to take away the vision. And they had a tough pass just to get it into where Livingston for the tie. Got it. How about this kid? Goodness. Playing really solid basketball. Average of five coming in. Good free throw shooter, too. Got 11 right now. And he has tied things up the 15 minute mark. Campbell trying to drive on Wheeler. Goes over the top and hits a big shot. How about that? Can't say that too often about Campbell going over the top. That's right. The man had a Wheeler there. Livingston's been the hot hand for Kentucky on the offensive end. They get it to him on the wing. Wheeler against Hawkins. Nice feeds at the Sheboy. But Sheboy bending over, creating space, and open up, dictating the proper pass. And Wheeler providing the lift with a terrific look into that low box area. It is just solid. Sheboy now just really digs in there. Just telling him what to do. Drop step. Put it in, big fella. So Nuba picks up his fourth and he goes out. At the end, comes back in. Shibwe to the free throw line and try to give Kentucky the lead. He has yet to hit a free throw. 0 for 3. We're shooting pretty well coming in. 79% up from 69 a year ago. And still looking for one. Tied at 40 with 14 and change remaining. Well, his offense doesn't bother him. He just keeps playing. She play. Forcing the switch here. They got what they want. 
Campbell out on top. Ware trying to get a piece of the pass. Back to mismatch. Hakez on Wheeler. Is that drop step? How good is he? Oh, and he's pretty magical. Move. Pretty move. They got a flop. Yep, they got a flop. As well, so they get a technical. Wheeler on Wheeler. Yeah. Here's another look. How about this? I mean, this could really embarrass you. His footwork. We use him in Carnegie Hall. <laughs> There's Wheeler hitting the deck, and Ake is going up, under, and around Shibway. And Tiger Campbell goes to the free throw line. 88%. Hasn't been there today. Acts like he has, though. So that was from a tie game to a three-point game. And a point of interruption. Kentucky gets the ball back. Seeing less and less of it, don't you think the flop? Yeah. I mean, uh, they, they clean it up a little bit. You never want to flop on Broadway, by the way. <laughs> you could close in a hurry. Exactly. One bad analysis. Kentucky has fought their way back to get to this point. Now, can they stay with it? Wallace. Etienne, nice job checking out Sheepway. Nick wants to call the play. As you said, he just had a look at Campbell, and Campbell knew. And then he yells to the other four on the floor. And there's a mismatch again. Akez against Sheepway when he finally got look to at, the rack. He's the one that slapped it back out. Oh, they had him. Going right back to him. And a kick out. Three pointer goes for Singleton. What a player Hakez is. Goodness. Yep. One became a great producer, one became a great broadcaster. Bomb. JB is up right now. Uh, possibilities for Hall of Fame. Oh, shouldn't be. He's on the ballot. He's on the ballot. He should be a definite pick. Etienne's really guarding Livingston wow. three. Yes, this kid whew, He has arrived maybe I think so He's got 14 that's a season and career high and Boy when they needed it. He's come through But at the end in the lineup they've been moving him out and Hakez in Hakez against Ware, leans into him, oh. and hits the shot. Boy, he gets people to bite. Boy, what a knowledgeable basketball player. Switched him out. Here we know he's got the bigger guy. He's got a bite, trying to do so many things yeah. well, Ware. And Toppin's going to come in for him, but just a heady performer with talent. John Calipari is giving a high five to Ware. He likes his effort. And even his defense, but sometimes you just got a guy that's doing magical things, which is what Jaime Jaquez has been doing in the garden here tonight. And when you know you're hung out to dry, you know, it's like <laughs> the exposure. Two time all Pac 12 player has got 17, which is his average. And they got two of them. Campbell's the same. This has been the offense. This guy, number 24 for Kentucky. Can they find somebody else to help out? And she really hasn't been a factor because of a little forceful defense. Etienne, the last few trips. Over Hawkins. Nice shot. His first basket. They need a lift from him on this end of the floor as well. Campbell trying to nice lob it. Sheboy got in the way. Wheeler came up with a loose ball. A nice D with the big hands. Xavier waits for Sheboy to get back in the front court after hitting the deck on the other end playing defense. The crossover of the drive. Uh, loose ball. Sheboy picks it up. Leaves it for Livingston. And it's all over the place right now. Got a layup on the other end with the save. Clark. Stuffs. That's one of those saves. You got to know what you're doing. Even catching go out of bounds.
Livingston looking against Singleton. Up and got his own miss on a chase. Wallace, three. That's off the mark. Top and tough offensive rebound. And he's in trouble. And he goes up and over again, but at the end gets a rebound on the miss. So it's as tough as that trip by UCLA. Now, Tiger Campbell will just slow it down just for everybody to catch their breath a little bit. And he knows how to pull the plug, that kid. Oh, offense. Yep. That kid's offensive foul. He was getting set up for that drop step. Half came back and won an overtime against Ohio State. Likewise, Kentucky was down 13 in the first half. Down nine. Beg your pardon, eight at halftime. And at the midway point of the second half, there's still a two-possession ball game with UCLA that's led pretty much throughout. Well, Reeves very active on the floor. Now give Louis still a little blow. Using those bumps on the baseline. Wallace to kick out. Wheeler. Extra pass over. And Reeves buries it. No, a big point is stopping. Good to see him get on track a little bit. He's both his field goals have come in the last couple minutes. Akez. Well, you're all alone out here. He can embarrass you. Fade away. Got it. He can, uh, the, just terrific understanding of the time and distance. What he can get away with. 19 for Akez. Reeves around a screener to pick up his dribble. And you've been called Sheepway a lot, particularly this half. Indians helped him in that cause. He's got it now. Nice long cut. ways away from the basket. Indian always comes up with it. And tried a left-handed slam there. It didn't go. Comes free to Wheeler. Wheeler will drop it off again. Charge, charge on the pass. Wheeler going right. It'll be four. I think. Trying to make a play. Pretty good presentation. How about that little attack at the rim? The big fella strong and able to finish at the rim, but that unfortunately you leave the the floor. You got some problems. So Wheeler sits down and Livingston comes back in. So it's a taller Kentucky lineup. It's about all you can say. They don't have their point guard in there, but UCLA does. Bagger Campbell goes all the way to the free throw line and then back pedals at the eight and a half minute mark to get away from oh, Sheepway and then around Sheepway. Look at that stand up. Hawkins in the middle of the play as well. They got a foul too over the top. Is it Sheepway? I guess so. Yeah, yeah it was. But what a feel, what a pulse of the game that Tiger Campbell has. Well, I think it's just that should have been a jump ball, don't you think? I thought so. Got to get it in. And they do to Singleton, who brings it back out on top to Clark. Looking for Tiger to run the show. Always gets back to him. Look who's there. I didn't get it, but gets a piece. A great position to try to get the offensive rebound, but it's out of bounds to Kentucky. Tireless, too. So, Casey and Wallace running the point right now for the time being. And Livingston on the floor again. See if he can get untracked as well. Up and under and foul. Hawkins number three. Picks up his third with just terrific performer thus far. See if we keep him going on that end. Stopping at the line. All five of his points in this half. All the reports, he worked so hard on that outside shot in the offseason. It's gotten better, I think. Sheboy somehow got an offensive rebound. 
Wallace lines up for three. That's off the mark. Well, that would have been big. Campbell with Wallace on him. Wheeler on the bench for Kentucky. Dribble drive here with the fancy footwork. Against Toppin. The lead in again with the shoulder. Four to shoot. Somehow, Wallace Campbell got a shot off. Yeah, Wallace, great defense. Not a good set. Campbell fell down. Wallace goes up. Didn't get the roller. Sheboy gets the rebound, however. Up and under, underneath, and blocked by Bona. And the Bruins coming the other way with Bailey. Bailey's fouled by Wallace. Yeah, looking for the body search there. Initiate the contact. Pretty competitive on the glass. If you missed our first game of the CBS Sports Classic at Madison Square Garden here in New York, it was a thriller. North Carolina came back and won in overtime in this game. Number 16, UCLA. Number 13, Kentucky. UCLA has led the majority of the game. Although, Kentucky's gotten close a couple of times in this half. They've been unable to get back in front. They tied it at 40. It's the last time we were tied. And now it's a 53-48 lead with just under seven minutes to go. Brad Nessler, Bill Rafter, Jenny Deller, CBS crew here at the Garden. Under seven minutes. Uh, really riding that ball screen and she way not able to load up in the lane because of excellent defense. Reeves kicks it out. Wheeler on a little floater. Short the string. Nice stand at home. Oh, pretty good defender. Gonna get better on this end. Campbell. On the dribble against Wheeler, all the way around, trying to leave it inside for Bona. Shibwe comes up uh -oh. with the ball and a foul. Will be on Bona, and that's going to be four. Tis the season for streaming. Watch hit movies and series, festive classics, and live sports all winter long. Uh, Paramount Plus, try it free. Uh, one of the few mistakes by Campbell, second turnover. Lizzie has a better feel. Nick doesn't keep anything in, does he? No. Absolutely not. Let's Campbell know. You're better than that. Reeves for three. Got it. I think that's his game. That's only his second field goal, but it's also his second three. And it cuts it to three. That's what he signed up for. Nice cut. Clark Livingston got a piece of it. Chingwe got a piece of that one. Pretty good D. And it's still UCLA ball. And again, the third time, still no good. And a foul on Livingston. Well, that's that toughness we talked about earlier for UCLA. They don't back off. Undeterred by terrific defensive plays. And this is the other end. Around the horn, a little die line by Reeves. Who can drill him, as you noticed. 48% from three. Jalen Clark at the free throw line where he's one out of two today. Pretty good shooting there, 267%. Got the second. You know, we always talk about who's tougher is going to win the game. I think it's, this one is... That plus who's going to play smarter? Five and a half to go. They switched it out on Reeves. Campbell on him, looking for a screen from Shibwe. A defensive clock. Yeah. Didn't have to do it. And that one goes against Nuba. I mean, that's that's it. Five, right? isn't it? Yeah, not mistaken. 
Trying to do the right thing and just you got the line as an extra guy just establish your defensive position at the end being asked to I think he's played great defense though coming on the floor. Yeah, he has. So Noob is done. At the end comes in for him. And at the free throw line, the guy that just hit the big three the last trip down the court. Antonio Reeves, who was a star at Illinois, Illinois State in the Missouri Valley Conference. You see, he takes up between 500 and 1,000 shots. Needed 6,000 on that free throw. Yeah. <laughs> He says one of those teams that uses the clock well, too. They get something good early, they'll take it. Otherwise, five minutes. One to ten. Marquez might do his own thing here. Fade away on the top. And, oh, boy. Almost went. Look at this bounce to empty end. And he's fouled by Sheboy from behind. He's been in the right spot, though, empty end. Top of an excellent defense on that fadeaway, forced to miss, and on that weak side, just loading up. Solid play. Entian, he's in the right spot. Redshirt freshman, New York native, and playing some solid minutes here. He really hasn't played a whole lot of minutes. He's going to be fatigued. Well, this is six a game. This is only the fifth free throw he's attempted. He's hit three of four. Not there. You've been killing these free throw shooters all day. I'm, I'm not trying to. <laughs> you have set them up <laughs> for their demise. <laughs> Back at the end, didn't get the other one either, and the rebound comes off to Livingston, Kentucky. Chance to cut it to one possession here. Wheeler thought about a shot. He'll take it. Got it. Well, when they backed off, he was a pretty good mid-range shooter. Down to two. Well, we've been blessed today, huh? I guess. That's what he does. Get him on the hip. Forced one, and it went in. They just really so knowledgeable. Get you hung up on the ball screen. Livingston, a three. Toppin keeps it alive. Well, Sheba's got to be a little more active, begging. Reeves. Got a little crossover dribble on Bailey and now drives instead. Hakez comes down off the backside with him, kept the ball alive. Oh, you don't need it. What a catch and save. And wisely, they bring it out. Damari Bailey says, Tiger, I'm going to hand off to you and let's use some clock. Boy, that play by Clark is magnificent. Campbell throws a shoulder into Reeves. Shot doesn't go. Sheboy clears it. Wheeler pushing it. Waits for his big fella to get down court. And that goes to him. Nice and at the end, great defense. How about this kid? Coming off a knee surgery last year. Sheboy's got to be saying, where this guy coming yeah. <laughs> Three bigs rotating. That's why you keep practicing hard. Ooh, tough shot. Hakez uh -huh. bricks the three. Wheeler brings it down for Kentucky. Four-point game, 2.45 to go. Toppin. Hakez getting his hands in there defensively. Toppin on a hook. Nice wall up, Etienne again. Reeves, deep three. Etienne again, and now he's got his arm tangled up in there. And the foul's going to be on Livingston. Well, he has been terrific, Etienne. Sort of wishing him up there. Bend the knees, big fella. He's going, it's easy for you to say, Bill, I got a big brace on this one, Nick. Yeah, that's <laughs> part of the issue as he makes his comeback. There we go. 
First point in the scorebook, but he's had an effect on the game. Uh, Livingston time or Reeves time? Let's see. Kentucky's missed their last five. Uh, Wallace, excuse me. Reeves is down on the floor. I'd get it in Livingston's hands. Get a good shot. Kentucky get offensive rebound. Wheeler. There you go. Offensive rebound. The kick out. He threw it away. But it comes free to Wallace. That was Wheeler that forced that turnover. Fresh opportunity for the Wildcats. We're under two minutes. Livingston spins into a double team and drew a foul. Could be Campbell. And sure. Clark up on the top side. And Clark is so good reaching in there with two hands and grabbing hold. So a 14 point game. For Chris Livingston, his season high and looking to add to it from the free throw line. And Clark only has two. And 12 for 13 coming in today, 92%. Oh. Needed that one. Yeah. And they're going the other way. Top and over to back. Kentucky, zero, his second. Toppin picks up his second foul. And two shots coming up on the other end for the Bruins. And just see here on the checkout. Yeah, just that little body bump unnecessary. So the foul on zero on one end. Zero goes to the free throw line on the other end. Two shots. Two out of four so far for Jalen Clark from the stripe. Both teams leaving some at the free throw line right now. Sure are. You know, looking at him, you know how tough he is, obviously, and demanding. But he has a great sense of humor. He's not going to exhibit it right now, obviously. No. But, have uh, to wait on that. Yeah. <laughs> Still a two-possession game, though. 150 to go. Ooh, Wheeler almost lost the handle on that handoff. Top of three. Nope. A little bit of a panic stroke, I think. And UCLA comes out of the rebound. They'll lose time now, particularly with this guy at the helm. John Calipari wants to get Reeves back out there for his three-point shooting, but right now it's Tiger Campbell's ball game to use as much clock as possible. And then Reeves by Sheboy didn't get it. Almost. Look at Sheway motor though. Now Kentucky trying to hurry down. Livingston on the drive up under. Sheway had the rebound and lost it to Bono. He says, uh-uh. How about that possession? We're under a minute. No hurry. You step up and help and he turns the corner. He'll find somebody. Quick timeout. Didn't know there was this many UCLA fans in here, yeah. but the chance of UC LA ringing around the garden is with Mick, you know, you can really do some things. You can operate in such a positive fashion. Clock to inbound. Haquez. Ten unless. Picks it back out. Campbell fakes the shot and then goes in for the little teardrop off the window. Yep. Just to top things off for his day. Well, the two guys. That means so much to this program. Hawkins patient gave it out. Reeves. Wallace. Trying to get rid of it. Over to Toppin. Short. Got his own miss. Nice and steal. steal. Say good night. Clark will finish things off. On the other end. Wow. So aggressive on the defensive end. That kid jumping past the lanes is one of the best you'll see. Number zero. Wallace, anything for Kentucky is going to be too little, too late. And UCLA is going to be 10-2, and, and they're going to enjoy their trip out east and enjoy their trip back home. If I were Mick, I would take the train to L.A. <laughs> and enjoy that trip. <laughs> oh. well, what a performance by UCLA. We said they were well-rounded, and they have been again today. The number 16 team picks off the number 13 team.